Hi guys, the other day I was at the dermatologist getting a, or not derm, like dermatologist but they also do like beauty treatments and filler and Botox and all of that there. Everyone there was absolutely stunning and perfect and beautiful and I was like what the heck. Um, they all had this like delicious skin makeup and like no eye makeup so they had like no mascara or eyeliner or anything. They just had like perfect brows, perfect skin and I was like I need to recreate that so i'm calling this the clean girl which is like a trend right now this is like what i saw in real life what i saw was clean girl so i wanted to try it so i am just i started off with a little bit of foundation so i don't take too long and then i'm putting on this tarte um what do you call it sculpt tape i was taken aback by how stunning every how stunning every single girl in that office was and they all had a very similar style of makeup. I'm sure that like they have filler and other things like that that I don't know about, but they were all beautiful. Oof. Okay, downside to this is that it's not blending super well because I had to get all that stuff. So let me try to blend it. Okay, I feel like that was blended kind of horribly because of how long I waited, but that's okay. Next, I'm using this little MAC. It's so similar to the, what do you call them? The Dream Bouncy Blushes. This is the one in Grand. It's Glow Play Blush. It's like a bouncy texture, which I absolutely love. It's almost in the middle of a cream and a powder. So I'm gonna put this on right now. Perfect color for this, because they all had just the most gorgeous cheeks especially their cheeks were so full and like plump looking also i look exhausted today i feel like um you probably can't tell too much but i have some dark circles just it's been a long week blush is on i feel like i could probably do more but i'm very satisfied with that color i feel like it's super pretty brush out my brows really quick i think where is my there it is so i have this little brow gel that I'm gonna use from Bene Benefit um, Clean. They all had like perfectly spiked, uh, kind of like the feather brows. They were literally like, like every hair was in place and I don't think mine are in the place to be able to do that, but I'm gonna try my best. So I'm gonna back comb a little bit because I feel like that helps get the product in there. And then this kind of has a flatness to it where once you brush it up, you can take it and go flat against your brow and that helps like stick it down more. I think I'm running out of product in this because it's a mini, so it's not working too well. But that's all we have for today. I'm also out of my, I'm out of my brow pencil. I don't have any more left. So I just realized those pillows are out of place. I'm sorry, I was laying on the couch earlier. That's my bad. For concealer, I'm gonna use this Hourglass one. I literally don't, I always forget the color when people ask because the sticker fell off, but it starts with an S. So I think it's like Sable or something like that. And it's a really thick concealer, so it's not, I don't know, this is like not something I wear every day. But I'm just gonna do it in that, in those areas. And I think I might've applied too much. And I don't have any lip color on. I've been getting asked what lip color I have on, but I don't. Well, sometimes I don't. I just have lip plumper on and it's hurting my, singing my lips and making them swell as much as they can and turn a little pink. So I feel so much better after cleaning out my makeup because I've really just focusing on using all products that I love. And I feel like that's easier when doing videos and stuff is when you use the same products over and over, people know that you really like them, they're your favorites, and you can come up with different and unique ways to use them. Okay, I think we're looking good, looking definitely a lot better. I think I'm gonna just take a little bit more blush because I sort of made it disappear with that concealer because it's very, very pigmented. I'm liking where we're getting. So for loose powder, baking, setting powder, I like the Huda Beauty one because it, uh, it doesn't have a pink undertone like the Givenchy one that I've been using. That one's really nice too, but it just has that pink undertone that doesn't suit my skin, I'm, I'm realizing. So I'm going to put the, this one on. This one though has 
I think it's this Huda powder has so much flashback. If you're taking a flash photo, you will look like flashback Mary. If you know what I'm talking about, it's not good. And then hopefully this makeup looks good because I'm gonna be wearing this makeup for my other couple videos I'm filming tonight. So <laughs> hopefully it looks nice. I take like leftovers, dab it on this big brush and just swoop it on. Do the setting because it's easier to apply powders on top without them getting kind of chalky. Okay, I really like that blush. I need to be using that more because it looks so nice. For a little bit more under eye setting and smoothing, I'm going to use the Kosas Cloud Set in Breezy. Haven't used this in a while but because um, it's really annoying to open. Look at how broken it is. So I always do an under eye set. I feel like it looks so good, especially with the brightening powder, but this one's not super brightening. It's more similar to my skin color. Use this little Dior, um, the Backstage Glow Palette, because I want to add a little bit of life back into my face and add a little something. Since we're not doing lashes or anything, I want something fun to go on. I think I'll use a little bit of freckles, faux freckles, with this freckle pen. Can't get enough. It kind of helps just to contour. And I already have some freckles popping through just naturally. I was getting a, just a mole exam at the dermatologist and she was like, oh, so you have sun, sun damaged freckles. And I was like, sun damage, that sounds great. I'm glad that I have that. I probably should explain what I'm doing. I just took this, I just took the, the bronzer, the dark bronze color from this palette and just messily put it on my eyelids for something. I think that looks nice. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I want to take all the blushes and highlighters in this palette, so these three, but like mainly the pink one and the gold, and just go crazy on the cheeks. I feel like that is going to add so much. Like, look how, look how nice that looks. Are you kidding me? This, we are getting to the look that I was trying to achieve. We really are. I didn't think we would get there because sometimes I fail, but we actually got there. And I'm going overboard, like, I don't even care. Okay, I think I'm gonna take a little bit more of like the gold and put it on my brow bone. Like, I'm not even being very thorough about this. I'm being kind of messy and seeing what happens. Tip of the nose top of my lip. Oh, I think it's so cute. I really think it's really cute. I don't know what you guys feel, but I like it. And then I think I'm going to just take this freckle pen and use it to slightly draw a wing out of my eye. There we go. Since I'm not putting on mascara. Now for lip combo, I wanted to try this where I take the NYX Nude Truffle Liner, which is like a, a darker, what would you call that? Dark nude, dark brown, just like that. And then in the center, put the Rare Beauty Hope like blush, like the actual blush. So I saw other people doing this and it looked so cute on them. Like, um, a little fade out, I think it's pretty cute. Look, I need to, tonight's a hair wash night. I love it, I'm not even gonna lie. The sun is going down, so the makeup is looking slightly different than it did a minute ago, but my favorite part is this like streak of shininess on my cheeks, I love that. Okay guys. That is my attempt at the clean girl makeup. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, any products or anything people have questions about, let me know and I will get back to you. I try to be quick about answering comments and all that. But I appreciate you for making it this far. Have a lovely day and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.